you children and seeing all your smiling faces. Oh, I'm sorry, Mother, but this is the only chance we get to do any reading. Yeah, the rest of the time we're too busy watching television. <laughs> well, Sherman, you better find time to write to your mother and you two ought to drop her a note. Aunt Viv's been gone almost a week. Oh, I've been okay. meaning to. I forgot. I'll do it tonight. Okay. Anything interesting in the paper, Chris? Well, the society column says that a countess is coming here to Danfield. A countess? Mm -hmm. Well, that's nice. What's a count is? A female count. <laughs> it says the countess used to live here in Danfield. Here in Danfield? Mm. Let me see that. Over there. Countess Framboise, former Rosita Harrigan of Danfield, will return here. Rosie Harrigan! I used to know her. You know a real countess? Yeah, we were school chumps together when she was plain old Rosie Harrigan. We used to be on the basketball team together. Boy, could she dribble. How <laughs> did she ever meet a count? Well, one summer she went to Paris for a vacation. She asked me to go with her. But I went to Poughkeepsie instead. I'll get it. Okay, dear. Boy, I'll bet Danfield will seem pretty dull after Paris. <laughs> Danfield is pretty dull even after Poughkeepsie. <laughs> it's a telegram for you, Mom. Who would be sending me a wire? Maybe it's from Aunt Viv. Maybe she ran out of money. Oh, Aunt Viv knows better than to wire me for money. What is oh. it, Mom? Arriving in Danfield today, may I stay with you until I get settled? Can't wait to see you love and kisses, Rosie Harrigan Framboise. The Countess is going to stay with us. Oh, what are we doing sitting here? We got to get the house cleaned up. You clean up the upstairs. I'll do the downstairs. Okay. okay. Hurry up now. Do a good job. Listen, children, come here. Now, remember, I want you to be very polite when you meet the Countess. Chris, I want you to curtsy. Okay. And I want you boys to bow, okay? I want to make a very... She's here already. Oh. Remember now, act nicely. Try to make a real good impression, okay? Rosie! <laughs> My name is Sam. Where do you want them? Want what? Luggage for the Countess. Oh, oh, just put it any place. All righty. Come on, men. Let's get going in here now. Children, will you stay out of the way, please? Because you'll be... Sit right over here. That's good. Thank you very much. Good. That'll be fine right there. Will you there. stay out of the way, madam? Because... Oh. oh, I'm sorry. Thank you very much. Oh. <laughs> Stay out of the way now, Jerry. Stay out of the way now. Stay out of the way. There's much more. There's much more. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> where are we going to put all this? Yeah. Any more? That's fine. Lucia! Rosie! Lucia! Rosie! Rosie! Tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you look terribly nice. 
Rosie, darling. Oh, Lucy. Oh, <laughs> after all these years, you haven't changed a bit. And you haven't changed either. Except that you weren't blonde. And you weren't a redhead. <laughs> <laughs> well, outside of that, we haven't changed a bit. Not a bit. <laughs> now, darling, you got my wife. Oh, yes, I did, dear. And it's all right if I stay a couple of days. It's all right if you stay a couple of weeks. My friend Viv is not here now. Oh, bless you, darling. <laughs> well, hello there. Are these your children? Well, some of them, yes. Oh. Uh, Chris and Jerry are mine, and that's Sherman. He's Viv. Oh, how do you do? <laughs> oh, so sweet. Ah, les enfants. Si mignon. He found me down. Uh, yeah, you see what I told you? <laughs> now, now, why don't you children run along? I'd like to talk to the countess. Yes, a tout à l'heure, huh? <laughs> oh, Rosie, this is so beautiful. <laughs> Gee, your husband must have been wonderful to you. <laughs> what was his name again? I never could pronounce it. Oh. Le Comte Henri Gaston Armand Jean-Louis Philippe Framboise de Cul de Sac. But I called him Saxy. <laughs> Saxy? Oh, how cute. Go on, tell me what happened, Rosie. Oh, well, dear, after my husband died, I wandered around Europe for about a year, and then I decided to come back to Danfield for a while. Do you think maybe you'll buy an estate and settle down here? Well, it's not very likely. I'm flat broke. <laughs> You're broke? Broke. Oh, but that's impossible. You're a countess. Dear, all my husband left me was his noble title and all his noble debts. <laughs> oh, well, that looked like an awful lot of money. You were tipping those delivery men. Well, I have to keep up appearances. And that was my farewell appearance. <laughs> <laughs> Who is it? It's me, Mr. Mooney. Oh, dear. Who's Mr. Mooney? Oh, he's the president of our local bank. A banker? Yeah. Oh, say, man, you speak. In my financial condition, a banker is just the man I'd like to meet. Like to meet, dearie. Have to meet. Well, you can meet him in lots of luck. <laughs> we call him the miserly Mr. Mooney. Oh, you do. Come in. Oh, excuse thank me. Thank you very much. Uh, just go uh, around that blue trunk there. Oh, that uh, where? Uh, oh, that's... Oh, yeah. I... <laughs> <laughs> what brings you out of the bank? <laughs> Don't tell me I'm overdrawn again. Undoubtedly. But that is not why I'm here. Oh. No, I heard that you had the charming Countess Framboise staying with you. That's right. What about it? What, what about it? Well, I'd, I'd just love to meet her. Uh, Countess, dear, may I present our leading banker, Mr. Mooney? Mr. Mooney, my oldest and dearest friend, the charming Countess Framboise. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's a great pleasure meeting you, Countess. Oh, and the pleasure is mutual, Mr. Money. <laughs> hey, Mooney, Mooney, yes. Now, the reason I'm here, Countess, is because I have just been elected president of the Danfield Wine Tasting Society. Oh, how is it? Yes, and perhaps you would honor us by attending our meeting tonight? Oh, tonight? Oh, a wine tasting society? Yes. That sounds très gay. Oh, yes. Well, oh, uh, what time should Mrs. Carmichael and I be there? Uh, uh, Mrs. Uh, Carmichael. Uh, well, I, I rather thought that Mrs. Carmichael would be busy tonight. Dream on. I'm free as a bird. <laughs> oh, uh, well, we'll be happy to have you both attend. <clears throat> it will be at 8.30 in the gourmet room of the Danfield Hotel. Uh, we'll uh, be there. Are we there, Denise, as well? Oh, indeed. Yes. yes. Uh, uh, goodbye. Uh, there oh, I'm so sorry. Count this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Oh, uh, Mr. Mooney. Yes. <laughs> Mr. 
testimony. It's the only thing you've ever given me without charging interest. <laughs> Good, goodbye, lady. Uh, goodbye, Mr. Money. Uh, uh, that, that's Mooney. <laughs> Well, this is it. There's Mr. Mooney and Mrs. Valance, the society columnist. And that's Danfield Society? Yep. You sure you want to crash it? <laughs> well, it isn't much, but it's all we've got. Well, come on, let's make the best of it, huh? All right. Oh, oh, uh, Countess! Countess Framboise! Uh, Here comes Mr. Mooney. Oh, goody, we're airborne. <laughs> uh, good evening, Countess. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, may I present the Countess Framboise? <laughs> and now, shall we get on with the business at hand? Uh, to the wine? Tally-ho! Tally-ho. <laughs> this, this way. Right over here. Right here. <coughs> Thank you. Now then, our first wine is a Bordeaux, oh, a bottled Bordeaux. in 1935. Ah. Yes, by the vineyards of Chateau Mont Blanc. Sassou. Oh, no, Sassou, very well. Yes. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Lucy, you're supposed to sip it slowly. Well, I have to do something to kill the hunger pangs. <laughs> Did it help? It didn't hurt. Good. <laughs> And uh, now, perhaps our honored guest would give her opinion of this wine, Countess. Oh, thank you. Well, I think it's an excellent wine. It's sort of, um, well, je ne sais quoi. I could describe it as a sort of a combination of nectar and ambrosia. What do you think, Lucille, darling? <laughs> Well, I, I could definitely describe it as ambrosiatic. <laughs> and now, if you will, Countess, we'll move down to this. Oh, table. yes, thank you very yes. much. Uh, right here. Yes. Now, this next wine... <laughs> this wine is a Burgundy. Ah, yes. Yes, from the Saône and Loire. Oh, Loire, yes. yes. Now, Loire. this was bottled in 1959. Aha. Uh -huh. A most excellent year... For Burgundy. Oh, thank you, Mr. Burgundy. Burgundy? Wasn't a bad year no. for hot dogs either. No. <laughs> uh, you'd uh, give your opinion of this wine? Uh, well, I think it's very good for a domestic wine. Domestic wine? This came from France. Well, that's where I come from. <laughs> well, that's telling them, Rosie. Yes, <laughs> now, uh, uh, shall we, if you will, uh, follow me, please, oh, to yes, our next delighted. wine. Yes, right over this way. Oh, come on, okay. this way. Yeah. Yeah. Right <laughs> over here, if you will. Now, this wine is a delicate Chablis. Ah, Chablis. Sante, Sante. With an indescribably delectable bouquet. Ah, yes. Oh, yes, it's known for its full-bodied aroma. Mm -hmm. The fragrance is alluring, uh -huh. enchanting, <laughs> and exotic. <laughs> He puts a dab of it behind his ear, so help me, I'll belt him. I'll drink to that here. <laughs> ah, well, this is indeed one of my favorite wines. Yes, well, I'm oh, so pardon glad. me, Mr. Mooney. Mm -hmm. If this is one of your favorite wines... And it is. Oh, well, then I would like to propose a toast to a very deserving gentleman, our new club president, 
Mr. Theodore J. Mooney. I'll bring you back. Oh. <laughs> Let us all move on to wine number nine. You know, I don't think they're ever going to serve us any food. I don't care if I never eat again. What do you think of that, baby? Uh, come on, let's get on to wine number nine. All right, wine number nine. Hey, you know, that's like poetry. Wine number nine, it tickles my spine. <laughs> you are diva. <laughs> Let's hit the road. <laughs> we made it while I... Oh. You look lovely in that hat. Thank you, darling. Continue. <laughs> now, our ninth wine is a sherry from India. Oh, all the way from India. Now. By elephant, I presume. Yeah. <laughs> you will uh, you'll notice the color. It's light brown. Oh, light brown. <laughs> I dream of genie. Countess, ladies. <laughs> As I was saying, this sherry was bottled in an excellent year, 1939. <laughs> 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 he shouldn't have said that anything like that. <laughs> 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 Nothing. said was this sherry was bottled in an excellent year, 1939. What happened? Did you hear what he said, Rosie? Well, yes, I did. He just said 1939 was an excellent year. <laughs> I couldn't go swimming. Oh. Or <laughs> <laughs> the mumps Mom's and the oh, come on. Well, don't you worry. Oh, no, see, it never happens again. <laughs> Mention what? I'll see that he'll never mention it again. What? 1939. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I don't want never mention 1939 Lucy, again. Now, Lucy, listen. As long as I live. Never, never, never. Lucy, I don't want anybody to say <laughs> Come on. Oh, sweetie. That hat is really you. Come on, come on. Come on. Count, count it. Count it, Mrs. Mrs. Come on, Michael. Right round the corner. Here. There you are. Right there. Watch that ship. It's a doozy. Now, you sit down first. You sit down first, Countess. No, After no. all, you're royalty. <laughs> That's right, I am royalty. I'll go first. <sighs> I'm feeling a bit flushed. <laughs> I'll flush you. <laughs> And now, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to our last wine. 
And as is our custom, we always finish with a champagne. Oh, I love champagne. Yes. And we are fortunate indeed tonight to have a very distinguished champagne from Epernay. Oh, Epernay. Yes. Oh, Gasson, thank you very much. You go get some for the rest of the folks. <laughs> And now, I should like to propose a final toast. Oh, let's drink a final toast to the president of the Wine Tasting Society. Here's to what? What's his name again? Whose name? Mooney. I don't know. <laughs> what difference does it make? To the president. <laughs>